Hey everyone, this is Bruce Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Gremlins 2, the new batch. We are out of the air ducts, and we are now in the broadcast area. We are now in the TV studio. My crystal total is the, down by about 20. Since last time, I kind of had technical difficulties, and, well, I had to fight my way back up here, but still have the same power-ups, and, well, I'm doing as well as I want to be, which is good. So without further ado, let's go on with stage 3-1. And we got these hands shooting at us already. And we get a stopwatch. Whenever we pick one up, we can attack enemies, but we still have to be careful because once that, even when the timer stops all the enemies, you can still touch enemies and take damage from them. Which is still pretty bad. And we got some major platforming action going on here. And good. I'm where I want to be. Now I like the uh, paperclip because they give me a much better attack when I need it. And I might as well go ahead and take care of this guy. Remember, use your violations of the law of perspective. Position yourself correctly and you should be able to get enemies when you even when you think you can't get them. And uh I might as well go ahead and refill my health here. Why not? I might get the extra life again in the next area. Now to take care of these things. Hopefully I won't lose my balloon. And wow, I just lucked out right there. I managed to get rid of all four of those uh, miniature explosives. And I managed to jump over there safely. Phew! Don't worry about the cameras and everything, they all shake like that all the time. Now to take care of these green gremlins that throw pineapple bombs at us. Just get away from them at first. And hopefully we should be able to get through the unscathed like I just did, yay! Sometimes it's kind of easy to get caught on items, so... Just be careful and move around, just give yourself space between the objects and you should be good. Now to leap in the center area here, so that way we don't want jump into the spikes or to get knocked in the pit because we tried to jump straight for the walls. And yes, I do not like the bat gremlins very much. They do shoot tornadoes at you, and I cannot believe I dodged all of that. Let's violate perspective here, or not. I do, that, those are the tornadoes I was talking about, and I hate them. It basically forces you to move back, but thankfully I didn't have to deal with that, and I'm now at stage 3-2, which is going to be a lot harder now because of these things. These well-animated conveyor belts. I mean, look at them. They're, they're well-animated. Want to jump over those electric balls and those spikes. Since we now know what our hazards are. Alright. We should have a leaping gremlin coming at us. The good thing about the pet for clips, once they're powered up, ow, is you can deal more damage in fewer shots. All you have to do is just have more than one paper clip hit an enemy at once. And I shouldn't really say anything about the lava. I mean, it should be avoided, and unfortunately, because of my LP curse that I'm going to have going on at the moment... GET AWAY FROM ME, PLEASE! Thank you! Thanks to the LP curse... Oh my god... Well... I can skip these guys! That's great! And I can land right in the door. 
Uh, so much for that. But I can refill my health and not die. And I can take care of these guys too. These guys just come straight at you. I mean, there's... Get over here. I mean, that's all they do. They just move towards you a little faster than usual when they see you. I would not recommend going through the through the area like that. And now to deal with these guys while also dealing with... The spike balls. And now we got some more lava and conveyor belts. Gotta be very careful. At least I have enough life to do this with. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I made my way through that. Okay. Phew! Go, 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 go. I got three hearts. I can do the boss with this. And... It should also go for saying that the animations on the walls very good. I should have taken the time to mention that, but I really wanted to get through the stage first, as you could probably see. And the boss here is the Electric Gremlin. Spoiler alert, it kills Dr. Cather in a movie. And it's very, very important in terms of the plot, because, well, as long as we keep jumping and throwing paper clips at it and staying on the move, the balls that split into four they won't really get us. I'm amazed I did all that while talking at the same time. And then we get another weapon. The pencil crossbow. And in stage for one, we get to see the crossbow for the first time. I'm going to stand in the center here. Nah, that's not good. That's, that's good enough. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. This is the weapon I should have had at the beginning. It's a lot better. Anyway, we've now got the electric gremlin stuck in Mr. Clamp's answering machine. So that way it can't torture anyone in the building ever again. And with that, we are now on stage four and we're getting a little closer to the end of the game. So tune in next video where I go through stage four. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.